my name is yashwant hello everyone my name is yashwant i am here to talk about system design interview question in this video i'm going to take an example of a system design interview and guide you with the process of solving a system design interview here let's take an example of a question consider we are given an equation called designing a mint.com website Mint.com is a website where user go in and then add financial accounts which they want to track. User can add as many financial financial accounts they want to track, and they can also assign a budget for you for their monthly spending. And as they are spending on their finance and financial accounts, they will get notifications. if they have reached a particular budget or they have overused on for a particular category so we are trying to design the system so let's try it to look at the requirements so in any system design make sure you take the requirements so that you are trying to solve the problem which you are supposed to solve so make sure you ask as many questions as possible so requirements for mint.com for example are user can add financial accounts system is able to extract transaction system should be able to categorize the transaction assign budgets or recommend budgets notification on overuse monthly weekly and oh, uh, unusual spending notification non functional requirements are like our system should be scalable means as the number of accounts are number of users number of accounts number of transactions are increased make sure our application is scalable means our application will not degrade in performance based on the scale of the system has increased make sure our application is secure because we are trying to use financial accounts as as the primary data make sure our application is secure so that information is is secure in our inner system and make sure our application is performant you 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 should be able to see the information quickly on when you log into the mint.com website and also your application should be highly available means you should your application should not have a down time typically we are looking at 99.9 and 49s of availability and i and i think you, this this application can compromise on consistency means uh, once the transaction has up, has applied you can take some time can can take eventual consistency here so eventual consistency is like whenever um, there is a transaction in your financial account you can have wait time of 5 minutes to, to like like a day to look at to have that transaction show up in your account so these are the requirements functional and non functional requirements so user should be able to add financial accounts extract transactions so we should extract transaction categorize it we can also override the category if if we don't have category information from the seller 
user can go into the website and then if you are not able to we can put it to empty uh, category and then user can manually enter it and then we can use that as a category for the next time we have to assign budgets and user can also add budgets the main usage is we are, our system should be able to have a notification on overuse of budget that's the reason that's a, that's a primary reason user is trying to use our um, website we should be able to send monthly and weekly notification which can guide them to limit their usage on a particular budget category on a non functional side we our system should be scalable secure performant available and i think we can compromise on consistency that's a good trade off let's look at the scale of the system the scale of the system is uh, understanding how much how how big is your application and based on that we have to choose choose the database type uh, what is the read to write ratio how many daily active users you have this will guide you to ch choose the database choose the number of servers you want to you want to have so it's very important to ask these questions for min.com consider we're going to have like 10 million monthly users and we can take an on average there are like five accounts five financial accounts a user has and for on an average we can say like in a month we have like 20 transaction for each account so we have around around 1 billion transactions per month which is around 400 request per second let's take like 10 is to 1 read ratio write to read ratio means read we gonna have 40 request per second these are write these are read so we gonna we gonna have like highly high high scalability metrics with us one handy conversion is like in a in a month in one month you have like 2.5 million seconds so you make sure that you use that if, if it was it's a 1 billion request then it's like 400 request per second so i think this will help you in figuring out the scale number let's talk about the api as i said add account we're going to have an api to add an account so we're going to have a post request we're going to have like notification so maybe we're going to have like a notify which is going to do like a push notification so this add account will take a user in, uh, account information notify will in, uh, notify about a particular category of the budget or something like that so so we going to have this two apis let's look at the database schema the database schema we going to have like tables like user table accounts table transaction table budget table monthly spending table user table will have user id name email created at this is going to be unique uid key string str 
string a date account table will have account id user id foreign key primary key username of the account password hash created it transaction will have transaction id account id user id date seller etc budget table will have budget id user id category id amount start date end date monthly spending you can take like a month amount but uh, category user id so this kind of information gonna start this is gonna be our table database schema table we can use sql here as we have different kind of data we can use nosql also all information can be stored in a single document data. can be stored in a single document data. So now let's look at high level system design high level design we need a client a web server which can be a reverse proxy a system an application server and some db a user logs in and then he wants to add an account our app server will go and then take the information add do some uh, authorization to account handshake with the financial service and then store store information it means we will take this account API Take the account information store in the account table as I showed here. So one is that, and then for um, extracting the transaction information, we can say that our um, app server is will talk to an account API. Account API will queue this information into a queue and this queue will talk to a, um, a, a consumer will will take this information from this queue called transaction api this transaction api will talk to different service like a categorization service A budget service, a notification service, this uh, this transaction service will talk to a DB and object store. This object store can be used for OLAP transaction on lab queries this db can also use for oltp so so as i said each when when we when we get a request for add an account and 
when these information is stored in the database and every day at a particular time our our transactions are added to our account api so we're going to have uh, we will query query to the financial account and account api will take the, all those information and store in the queue so consumer which is a transaction api take this items from the queue ask the categorization service to do category find the category of the transaction so we're going to have seller information with us suppose it's a target seller then it's a shopping category if it's abercrombie.com then it's a clothing if some leasing company then it's housing something like that so we will ask the category service to take all this information and then determine the category for us. And then the budget service is where we are storing the budget of the particular account. We're going to talk about the budget service in, in detail. And in this notification budget service will use this notification service to notify the user if, if the user has overspent. All this information with the category is stored in the database so that we can use to generate the reports. Okay, let's talk about the category service. Category service is like, uh, you, uh, if you write the program pseudocode, we're gonna have like a map, in-memory map, or a hash map, in-memory map, or a DB, where we have seller information, and we have a category to it. As we said, we can override the category also. So we're going to have like another override map. We will take the category from seller information map and we will check if it's there in the override map. If it is, then we take the category from the override map and then assign. We can do this in like in synchronously or we can run a map radius job. If you do MapReduce job, if there are like a lot of transaction, you can do MapReduce. In the mapper, you can have, you can get all the transactions. You talk, you have a category resolver from the category service. And then get the category. So you take the user ID, account ID, time, when this happened, get the category, and then emit it, emit this. And the reducer will join this information and we can store this in HDFS or database. So that's the category service. Let's talk about the budget service. Budget service, we're gonna have a table for our budgets, right? budget ID, category, or some other stuff. So as we are storing the information in the transaction, we will join this information and compare with the budget they have. And if, if it goes more than the budget, the sum of the value of the transaction goes more than the budget, we will use our notification service and send email. We can use Amazon SQS or can, um, RabbitMQ or something like that to do that. We can use email or push notification if they are using push notification service. So that's that's the um, so we we said we're gonna recommend the budget so. For example, we have recommended like 40% of 
uh, like four percent of point zero four, like yeah, four percent of the salary as for housing, and point zero two percent for shopping. We make sure that we we take this information join from the transaction table and make sure that if it is more than the budget we will send we will put into a message queue which will which will notify the user now let's look at how can we uh, let's look at the design how can we scale this so if you look at the system here we can add many account apis so we can scale this we can scale our transaction API service. We can put this database into a master slave database where the reads writes are written to master and then slave takes the read request. A re, uh, slave, um, so it, we can have like a master slave node. We can use cache. We can use cache. As the user logs in, he will see the reports, right? So we can add this information from like last one month into cache and then serve. And so this information. So we will be able to uh, file the 40 read request for a uh, read request using cache and then also we can use our read replica database for read we can have like we can use load balancer multiple web servers multiple transaction APIs and then worker nodes which okay workers node we can shard this data shard shard the service shard or partition the service based on location so suppose we I'm I'm in USA I'm going to talk with USA service, USA DB, and but if I'm in India, then it's a different server, different server.